Hi everyone, my name is Brock and I will be showing you how to save time and code less with, in CodeIgniter with the help of Doctrine. Doctrine is an object relational mapper which means it helps you map your database tables to your objects in your code. In this case we will be using uh, CodeIgniter models for these objects and this will save you a lot of code duplication and it will come with a lot of tools that you can use that you don't have to code yourself. So let's go into this fresh installation I have of CodeIgniter and I put in the doctrine already. So uh, let's create a new model. I'm going to create a user model. I already have this code here which says user extends doctrine record instead of the model class that you would normally extend. Uh, so we can get all the doctrine goodies. Um, now in, in the doctrine classes we have to create these two functions. Uh, I'm just going to copy paste some code. The first function is called set table definition. And here we put the fields we're going to have in this table. So we're going to have a username field, and we're going to have a password field, and a group ID field that will tell us which group the user belongs to. And then you can set the, the types of the fields and the lengths right next to them. Uh, then the second function we have to include is the setup function. Here we include things like set table name, uh, so which table name we're going to be using. Uh, and there's other functionality like act as time stampable, which means there are going to be uh, two fields created. One is created at, the other one is updated at, which will keep track of when the record is created and updated. And this will be done automatically for you. And the next thing we're going to add here is this has one call. This has one says I, I, I'm a user and I can have a group and my local uh, ID for that, my, my local field for that is the group ID field and on the group table there's an ID field that I, I can link them together using this. Uh, now let's create a group object. Uh, we create a group class extending again doctrine record. So I'm going to add those uh, two functions again, this time much shorter. We're just going to have a name field in our table definition. It's a string, and we're going to have uh, the t set table name call to groups. So we're going to be using a table called groups. Uh, let's try using these in a, a test controller. I have a test controller created here. Um, before we can use them, we have to generate our database. So Doctrine comes with nice helper functions for that if you want to use them. Uh, otherwise, you can manually create them yourself too. Here I have a drop database call which just drops the existing data I have. And then I will create a new database uh, and then I will be creating the tables from my models. And Doctrine knows where my models are so it's going to be using that code to generate the table definitions. Uh, once that's done I'm just going to say generate it. Uh, so let's test this. I go here and to my controller and call generate function. I got some output. I go to my test database which has the users table now and the groups table and they are all empty. Um, now I go back to my controller now let's add some data to our tables. Uh, so I'm just going to call this function foo and in this function we're creating a new user object and we're going to add username and password values to this object and then we're going to save it. This save function comes from doctrine so it's going to save us save our data into the database. So let's create another user. This user is called U2 and we're going to put uh, data into the field again but this time we're going to add a group into this. Notice I didn't even create a group object I'm just uh, saying U2 uh, group name and giving it a name and I, I just say save and I also put added. So I go to my um, browser again call that function called foo and I check my database and go into my users table. Here the two new users I created one of them got associated with a group ID the created and updated fields are populated already for me and in the groups table I have a group generated named my group. So I didn't have to do any of this I didn't have to do any queries and there are much more functionality that Doctrine provides you with that uh, lets you avoid a lot of code duplication and uh, lets you avoid a lot of mistakes um, and we just barely scratch the surface. I hope you can uh, find more use out of this and there are some tutorials out there on how to install Doctrine uh, but I didn't have time to cover it so I hope this is a good way to start and thanks you for, thank you for listening.